Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for stopping by um, to watch this video. Um, it's just going to be a short video. Um, it, I don't have any other videos right now. Um, I do plan on posting more videos uh, whenever I, I have a dream. So, you know, all my life, for the most part, I've always, you know, either had dreams or visions, you know, where God is communicating with me. Um, but I can't say that I've been faithful lately as far as, you know, sharing those dreams. And I feel, you know, that it's part of my responsibility. I think if God is going to, you know, communicate with you and he's going to share your, you know, if he's going to give you dreams and visions, you know, um, at least if you strongly believe they came from God, then you should share those things. And unfortunately, I haven't, um, not on a platform like this anyway. You know, I do tend to tell my friends and my family. So, um, this particular dream was, I guess you can say, I kind of felt like it had something to do with the rapture. I would say I had this dream about a week ago. So, <clears throat> from what I remember, um, I guess you could say I was walking around maybe like downtown, like in the city somewhere, and, you know, everything looked peaceful, everything, you know, everyone looked like they were back to their normal lives. It didn't appear that, you know, there was any type of pandemic going on, any type of COVID. I don't recall seeing people in masks, but I mean, it could have been, but I don't recall seeing that. So anyway, everyone was just kind of walking around, and, you know, like I say, enjoying themselves, spending time with their family, smiling, laughing, people having a good time. And then all of a sudden, you know, I started hearing people screaming like they were screaming for their lives, you know, and, you know, I, I started looking around and it was just all this mad chaos and people were running and, and, you know, grabbing their, their children and, you know, just grabbing whatever, like run with me. And they, I mean, they were running for dear life. And I think I started to run with them. But then all of a sudden, it was like I I was witnessing what was going on. It was like I was removed from the chaos, but I could still see the chaos. It's almost like I was snatched out of it, and perhaps I was, you know, like I said, I was watching it from a distance, almost like if I was, I don't know, watching a movie, you know, but I knew I was watching it from a distance. And... I mean, it felt so real. Um, and so while I'm looking, everybody's running around, you know, cars wrecking into each other. You know, I look up, you know, and I see, you know, just, I guess, like comets or, you know, balls of fire. You know, it's like a ball with a big fire, you know, like a trail of fire behind it, you know, just just they would come right down and and I saw those far off and the people here running and it'd be just a what one ball of fire was loud and loud impact and just it seemed like the earth just shook and people were just running and tripping over themselves and then I saw another one strike a building you know and it's like the earth just started catching on fire in different areas. And so I remember, you know, just watching how terrified they were. And I remember I, I started saying, you know, Lord, Lord, you know, they're not ready. The people are not ready yet. And even though I was saying this, you know, it was though almost, you know, I guess like the spirit was telling me, you know, it's going to happen anyway, you know, and 
I was and I was just trying to plead for them and I was like, Lord, Lord, they're not ready yet. Please give them more time. Give them more time. And it was like, no, there's no more time. And it was terrifying. I mean, I was so happy when I woke up, but my heart was just racing. It was pounding. And, you know, I was I was afraid for the world. So, I just thought I'd share that with you, you know, and see what you guys think about it. Now, that's one dream I had maybe about, like I say, that was about a few weeks ago. Um, now, here's another thing. Um, I have a grandson, and my grandson is seven years old. So, lately, I've been feeling like, you know, the Lord has been, like, putting it on my heart, like, to... You know to get him baptized but you know with the pandemic going on and the churches are pretty much closed you know so you know I recall that you know um, when my children were little I actually baptized them myself you know I'm a believer in Christ and it's like why not <laughs> so I kind of prayed on that when they were little you know to see you know Lord is this okay for me to do I mean eventually you know they got baptized again in the church but even if they hadn't, I, I I think it's perfectly okay, you know, that the parent, you know, baptizes the child. So anyway, so I, you know, I've always talked to my grandson about, you know, God and, and you know, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And he pretty much understands. And so, you know. I explained to him about being baptized. You know, I let him see a few videos that I actually found on YouTube. And so anyway, we, um, you know, I set everything up, you know, and, you know, I, I prayed over the, the, wa the water when I filled it up in the tub. I prayed over it. You know, we welcome God. You know, we welcome the Holy Spirit. And we welcomed, you know, Jesus Christ. You know, we welcome their presence. So... You know, I baptized him in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you know, prayed over him. And the most amazing thing happened afterwards. And I know that he was telling me the truth. It's, you know, it's, it wasn't his imagination because these things are in the Bible, you know. And he he's always asking me, you know, because he knows that, you know, I'm always talking to God and I don't hide anything from him, you know, and he always says, you know, I want to talk to God too. And I always tell him, well, you can talk to him, you know, because he lives in your heart and he'll be able to hear you. And so, so anyway, so after, you know, I baptized him, you know, he, he came out the water. He, um... I mean, he just had like this this look on his face. I guess kind of, I thought he was just washing his eyes, you know, but apparently he was seeing something. He was having a vision. So he started to tell me, he says, you know, I was drying him off. He says, Nana, you know, I just saw a man. And I said, you just saw a man? I said, in, I said right here in, in your head? And he goes, no, Nana. You know, I saw him. He was right there. He was standing in front of the cabinet, you know, right here in the restroom. And she, then he says, and Nana, he was with another man. And I know that it was God. He said, I saw God, Nana. And he had like, you know, a halo or something over his head because it was light. So he started telling me that he saw this light shining over this man. There was another man with him and there was also a light that shined. And, but the first man he said, which was God, he thinks the other man was maybe an angel. He wasn't sure. He said the other man had a face, but he just couldn't describe the face. But he said the first man who he believes, who he knows is God, he said, he couldn't see his face. He said it was just blurry, you know, and it was just the light. And, <laughs> and I know that he saw this because, you know, when I was 19, you know, I met Jesus Christ. 
and that was pretty much what I saw too and I'll tell you guys about that as well you know like in another video but but anyway so he says um yeah Nana I couldn't see his face his face was blurry but I know it was God it was God Nana he said and then Nana I um he said and then Nana I saw the man God he took me and he started showing me a lot of graves and so at this point I was like whoa I don't know what to hear this he's graves was it my grave you know but I said okay let me go ahead and listen so he says Nana God showed me a lot of graves and I saw not Mary and I saw Adri I saw all their names of you know of different families and so basically my mother passed away about four years ago so he's saying not a Mary um, and then my daughter Adrian she passed away when she was 13 from a brain aneurysm so he said that he saw their names you know on these graves and he saw other names as well and he said and Nana God showed me these graves and then Nana he picked up something from the ground some dirt and then he did like this and then it turned into some gold magic powder and then Nana he started pouring it like this like a trail poured it everywhere and then he sprinkled some like this on the graves Nana and then Nana guess what he didn't even open the graves with his hands Nana he they just opened they just opened Nana and all the people they came alive and they started getting out of the graves and going with him Nana and I knew that he was telling me the truth the look on his face you know he spoke with such conviction you know what he was seeing what God had just showed him I mean he was describing revelations he's describing the rapture you know when it said you know the dead will rise first and that's why he you know God didn't even have to physically open those graves you know he caused them to to open and he caused the people you know to become alive and to leave out those graves and I know that you know everything he saw that night was the truth you know who else could have told him those things So, you know, just more things started coming to him, you know, and he just would start telling me more and more, you know, of the things that he just saw. The moment, the moment that he rose up out of that water. Then he started telling me. He started saying, Nana. He said, Nana, I feel like a new person, Nana. I feel different. He said, oh, my body feels different, Nana. And he said it just like he was floating. He felt like he was floating. You know? And then I just remember the last thing, you know, we went and we got into the car because, you know, I'm a last minute shopper. You know, I had to get some groceries um, before places closed up. And, um, anyway, so... Um, we got in the car and then when we got in the car he just he, he was just like Nana why does the car look gold I said what do you mean he said it looks gold Nana it looks just like gold all of it you know how the car is normally black in here Nana right now it's all gold Nana and there's a light in this car there's a light and the light is shining right over you too Nana <laughs> And then he said, um, do you believe me, Nana? Nana, do you believe me? And I was like, yes, Poppy, I believe you. I believe you. You know, God is showing you things. He's showing you that he's real. You know? So 
Yeah, I definitely think, you know, you know, God is trying to wake us up. You know, God is trying to wake us up. And he, you know, I'm, I'm really blessed. My grandson is really blessed that God allowed him, you know, to see those things that, that you know, God revealed himself like that to him. Um, and then he's, and also I forgot he, he had mentioned that after, you know, um, the people came out the graves, he said the next thing he saw, the, he said that, that uh, yeah, Nana, so God, he said, after that, Nana, I saw God and another man, and I believe this is Jesus Christ. He says, I saw God and another man, and Nana, they were just standing on a street, and the street was gold, Nana. It was gold, and they were just standing there, <laughs> so... Another, you know, that's another thing, you know, I've never told him that to my knowledge, but, you know, he's, you know, in the Bible, it does talk about these streets of gold. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with everyone and I will post, um, some more videos. Um, I do want to, I mean, some of these things are going to be dreams I've had in the past, but I still want to go ahead and post them in let you guys know well you know what there's one more dream I'll go ahead and share that on here as well so this is probably about three nights ago and this was a really short dream but um, so in this dream you know I saw a lot of people asleep I guess you could see, they were in their bed somewhere in their bedrooms and then maybe just say someone sleep on a bench or something but basically I was aware that everyone was asleep. Then I saw this, it looked like a spirit that was flying. You could, you could see the spirit flying and it would fly from one home to the next, one person to the next, and it would just kind of hover over that person and just say that person was sleeping, that spirit came and it was just hovering over them like this and the spirit would you know, put it, would, I guess, like, put his head down towards his mouth, towards that person's head, and would just say, wake up, wake up. So, yeah, that's another thing, you know, the spirit was just going around and just, you know, calling everyone, you know, to wake up, and, and I think that's what is happening right now. A lot of people are being called to wake up because, you know, this rapture is going to come, and, you know, if you're not ready, you're going to be left here behind. So I pray for everyone watching this and, you know, thank you for listening to me and, you know, like I say, just whatever I tell you, you know, don't take my word for it, you know, pray to God and ask God to give you understanding and thank you. Merry Christmas.